Put Taurus in the sun, moon, or ascendant position if you'd like your character to come off as practical, responsible, or patient. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk all about Taurus characters. It is Taurus season, and same information that we give at the beginning of all of these videos. If you missed my first astrology video, I'm going to link that up in the card. It has all of the information that you need for this video to make sense, to give this video context. And of course, since we are talking about Taurus this week, let me know all about your Taurus characters down below. Taurus is represented by the bull. It is part of the earth element, and its quality is fixed. Earth signs are typically known for being steadfast and practical. And fixed signs are typically seen as calm because they come during the middle of a season. And Taurus falls in the middle of the spring. Taurus typically goes from April 20th to May 20th. Being the fixed earth sign, Taurus is seen as both reliable and patient. Think of Taurus as the spring setting in and everything getting into a nice groove with growing. This can cause Taurus to be practical even to a fault, and this can sometimes come across as really stubborn for the Taurus, but you can balance it out with more flexible signs in other areas of your character. Taurus's ruling planet is Venus, and remember, Venus represents how you love, how you flirt, and your desires, so Taurus make really devoted romantic partners. The key word for Taurus is stable. Put Taurus in the sun, moon, or ascendant position if you'd like your character to come off as practical, responsible, or patient. Remember, what sign the sun is in at the time of someone's birth is their sense of self, what drives them, and their central instincts. But any planet can be in any sign, so let's break down some of those planets in Taurus. And you guys know the drill, characters in the corner that I think could be interpreted as having this particular placement very prominent in themselves, so that gives you a little context. For Taurus rising, slow and steady wins the race. Since your rising sign is what you project onto the world, think about the basics we talked about and apply it to that. Taurus rising people tend to be seen as resistant to change. They're definitely found saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They are quite concerned with security, and this is what makes them resistant to life changes. They can even be so single-minded in that approach that their focus on safety makes them not change at all, and then they're vulnerable to stagnation. But on the flip side, they can make the people around them feel soothed by that stable harmony that they radiate. The moon in Taurus shows someone who is incredibly emotionally strong-willed, and someone that revels in their creature comforts. They enjoy building a solid foundation that makes themselves and those around them feel stable and secure. They may even go out of their way to avoid messy people and messy situations. If a Taurus moon person says that that's dangerous, you can trust their instincts on that. It probably is. Since the moon is someone's inner world, the moon in Taurus can sometimes come across as so concerned with stability that they're more interested in keeping things steady than making things right. They'll tend to protect the interests of themselves and those close to them before they think about what's best for the wider world and everyone. All right, next as always, we're gonna get into the personal planets, so let's get started with those. Mercury in Taurus colors someone's communication style as stable. Since Taurus is all about slow and steady, sometimes their communication style comes across as lazy, but it is anything but. While it may take them a while to arrive at a decision, once they've arrived at that decision, they are in for it whole hog. They can even be quite stubborn about it. They might think, oh, I have already thought a lot about this, I've already covered this, and I'm very sure in my decision, so what's the point in retreading that ground to potentially change my mind? Venus in Taurus colors someone's love and desires as stable. People with this placement appreciate creature comforts and sensual romance. They are predictable and dependable in their relationships. As Taurus's ruling planet, this is where Taurus is best expressed. Expect loyalty, equality, and safety from a Venus and Taurus person. A perfect date for this placement is literally Netflix and chill, probably with a home-cooked meal thrown in and lots of cuddling. Mars in Taurus colors someone's ambitions as stable. This placement is goal-oriented, and while not at all known for their speed, they are definitely known for their staying power. Like the bull, they will keep pushing until they achieve whatever it is they're trying to achieve. 
Mars in Taurus has a five-year plan and they are very unlikely to deviate from that plan. And never try to rush a Mars in Taurus person. If you mess with them in this way, you will get the horns. Jupiter in Taurus desires only the good life. Having a strong sense of what they're worth attracts success for this placement. They do best when they're generous while at the same time being patient and choosy with who they share their generosity with. And it's not uncommon for this placement to have good instincts when it comes to finances. Saturn in Taurus shows Taurus traits in what they fear. They fear losing to the point that they can no longer provide for themselves. Lack of safety is a primary concern, so this placement may forego lots of indulgences in their life. This placement needs to practice enjoying the winnings in their life and resisting that fear tendency to hoard. And those are our personal planets. We're going to move now to our outer planets, that's our more generational planets. Uranus in Taurus is a time for freedom from the material. This is what happens when you combine the stable Taurus with the rebel Uranus. All of the stability that Taurus stands for becomes completely shaken up. This is a time for seeking equality so that we may achieve stability for everyone. Uranus is in Taurus right now, and with a few exceptions, it will basically be in Taurus until April 2026. Neptune in Taurus dreams of their possessions. They couch their spirituality in the material. This makes this placement incredibly adept at surviving hardship, but they may struggle in situations where they need to let material things go. Proverbial crying over spilt milk is pretty common during this time. However, during this time, there is the uncanny ability to see the poetic in the mundane. The last time Neptune was in Taurus was from 1875 to 1889. Pluto in Taurus signifies a time of great material or financial change. Changes during this time come slowly, but they tend to affect the material parts of the world. Think economic shifts, or shifts in how people think about their possessions. The last time Pluto was in Taurus was from 1853 to 1883. And that is how all of the planets react when they are in Taurus. As usual, I barely touched on any of this. If you would like to know more, I strongly recommend doing further research. I've linked my favorite astrology websites down in the description for your perusal. So do any of you guys have Taurus characters? If not, are you considering making one now? I'm really curious about them. Let me know all about your Taurus characters down below. And of course, don't forget to make it a great day. <laughs>